In this video, we're going to explore the features and user interface of Ambient Occlusion. Ambient Occlusion is a fast, easy 3D rendering plugin for SketchUp, allowing for the creation of renderings with a single click. Section cut rendering is also supported in Ambient Occlusion. In addition, Ambient Occlusion also integrates with SketchFX, allowing you to combine your renderings with styles to create new effects. The EX version of Ambient Occlusion also includes the ability to render animations and to batch render different scenes. Animation mode includes support for Fredo 6's Animator plugin, allowing for the generation of animations with moving geometry. Ambient Occlusion has four modes of operation. Render Viewport allows you to render directly inside your SketchUp viewport. This allows you to get a live update of your render as you adjust your view in SketchUp. Click once on the Render in the Viewport option to start your rendering. As you can see, if you rotate your model in SketchUp, Ambient Occlusion will automatically update your rendering for your new view within your viewport. With Render in the Viewport mode active, you can adjust your settings by right-clicking on your image. We'll go through the settings more in-depth in a future video. To turn off viewport rendering, click the Render in the Viewport button a second time, or tap the spacebar. The second option for rendering with ambient occlusion is the Render in a Separate Window option. This will pop up a window separate from your SketchUp viewport for rendering. Many of the options are the same between Render Viewport and Render Window. The difference is that when rendering within the SketchUp viewport, your displayed resolution is limited to the size of the SketchUp viewport. Within the separate window, you can display renderings with a higher resolution than your SketchUp viewport. Also, within Render in a Separate Window mode, you have the option to pause your renderings by clicking the Pause button. You can resume your renderings by clicking the Play button. To re-render after updating your view in Render Viewport mode, simply click the Render Viewport button again. Your options for changing your rendering in Render in a Separate Window mode are at the top of the screen. You can click on these icons to adjust your different settings in your rendering. You can see the status of your rendering at the bottom of the page, where it will tell you the resolution of your image, the current status of the render, the time taken for the actual rendering, and more. The third and fourth options are only available in the EX version of Ambient Occlusion. The third option is Animation Rendering. In order to use this option, you must have more than one scene created in your model. The Render Animation option allows you to create a rendering of an animation between multiple scenes in your SketchUp model. You can adjust the length of your video, the transitions, and the other settings of your actual animation within the animation settings in SketchUp. In addition, Ambient Occlusion EX allows you to render animations created using the extension Animator by Fredo 6, which allows you to create animations with moving objects in your models. You can adjust the various settings for your animation in the Animation Settings, which we'll discuss further in a future video. You can adjust the quality, frame rate, bit rate, and included scenes in your model using the Render Animation options. As you can see, Ambient Occlusion will render your animation and export it to a video file for use in other programs. Finally, Ambient Occlusion EX allows for the generation of batch renderings, allowing you to render multiple different scenes at once. These renderings are created from the scenes that you've set within your SketchUp model. The Batch Rendering option will allow you to select which scenes out of your scenes list you would like to render, allowing you to render multiple different scenes at one time. In the next video, we'll go through the different settings included with Ambient Occlusion that allow you to customize your rendering. If you're looking for more help or support when working with Ambient Occlusion, please make sure to visit the Ambient Occlusion forums for more information. Thank you very much for watching this Ambient Occlusion tutorial video.